morning guys welcome to the vlog today is monday it's been a while since i picked up the camera i think the last vlogs that i filmed was us prepping the house getting ready getting it ready for showings and stuff and so today's monday after our first weekend of showings so point is i am exhausted <laughs> we've had to be like out of our house like all day friday we had showings i had to be out of the house um alone with the kids like all day long keeping them occupied outside the house and then this past weekend i'll kind of do a little recap on our weekend in a minute but today is like monday morning and my house feels so clean still it just feels so nice the kids are awake and they're playing i don't know they're pretending that jackson is like a little baby or and something i'm gonna be the baby in three and then you're gonna be the baby okay so they're playing but like just check out the state of the house like this is joe's area that's usually filled with a bunch of his like work stuff and then the dining room is just like perfect like the dining room has never been <laughs> this clean and then just everything looks so nice and fresh which i'm just is putting me in such a good mood the whole kitchen area like hasn't been touched and then the kitchen like okay there's fighting lovely but there's like nothing on my counters and this is how we've had to leave the house for the showings and then a lot of you guys were asking like well where is all your stuff then we do have like a fair bit here in the garage because like the kids like you know like the ho the homeschool caddy and stuff i wasn't going to take it down to the basement because i still use this stuff all the time so i just kind of threw it in here in the garage like riley's homeschool books are down there and then i have like some of the things that we will use but that you know we wanted out of sight so we've got like pots and pans and stuff here in the garage so anyway that's kind of like the mode we've been in you guys have seen the videos lately of just like decluttering we still have more stuff in the basement that we want to go through and just pare down as much as we can before we actually like pack our stuff to move today i actually have something super cool to share with you guys something i've never shared here before but it's a company that would help because like it's kind of along the lines of like decluttering and organizing your life and stuff so today's video is sponsored by a company called legacy box and i'm thrilled that they worked with me um just because i feel like the concept is so so cool it's basically a way a very easy simple way for you to digitize and like preserve your memories so anything from like old photos to like old um like home videos that maybe you have around your house or your parents or your grandparents have things like that that have been sitting around even negatives like photo negatives it's a way to just take them all and send them to a company and have them digitized and sent back to you in a thumb drive sent back to you in a really easy way um, so that you can then like have a nice way to view all of your memories we just got to do this with a couple of things like i was just kind of like testing it out with some of joe's old memories like from when his mom passed so this is what the company looks like like the box so this is legacy box we just got back what i sent them so basically first of all the way that it works very user friendly you do not need to be a genius at all to figure out how it works it's very step by step they walk you through it all but it's very easy so basically what happens is when you order your um legacy box you go online you order the legacy box which by the way i do have a code for so i do have a code that gets you 55 percent off but point is you order your box and then you get a box like this delivered to your door and inside your box you're gonna have instructions that share with you like how to package your items so we packaged all of our like photos in like different sets like this um and then we sent them in so these are just old photos some of these like super old like this is joe's mom and then you have like little barcodes that you you know you label them all that way they can keep track of everything for you but really really cool so again just old photos this is joe and his mom like how cool is that and i'll show you the like the results i'll show you the usb drive that they sent and then just negatives like photo negatives like how many photo negatives do you have or your parents or like i said your grandparents like family members we had literally just boxes and boxes and boxes of old photos like i didn't want to like just send them all all at once we can kind of go doing this little by little but i feel like this would be such a great gift like maybe for your mom like we've got mother's day around the corner maybe your grandma like someone who has like just hoarded years and years like a lifetime really of memories and then like you never look through them because they're unorganized or you don't know where to start like nothing's labeled this is a nice way to start you know going through that so anyway you send this in and then it's really nice because they keep you updated the whole time i really appreciated that 
about legacy box the fact that you know as soon as i sent back my box like i got an email saying you know saying that you know your your memories are on their way and then once the team had received it i got another email saying like okay our team is working on it and then as soon as they were done they also sent like more update emails so i never had to wonder really like where my stuff was because Again, something that you're doing is you're sending your memories to them. The last thing that you want to worry about is where's my stuff? Like, am I ever getting it back? So you will get the originals back um, in addition to this. So this is what I got back just now. And in here is basically like a CD format of all of our memories that we sent in. And then in this little envelope here, this is where the USB drive is. Okay, so that's the drive. It's literally the smallest thing I've ever seen. I thought it was gonna be like one of those like old school ones, like the ones that I'm used to seeing. This thing is tiny. I'll show you really quick so you can see what the results look like. And just again, these are just some of those old memories that we wanted to try and try to preserve. And I wanted to see like how they would look. And then now I know that legacy box is something that I can rely on, something that I feel comfortable using. And so now we can go through some more of Joe's old family photos because he's the one that has like a ton, but I would love to do this honestly, like with my own grandparents. You know, I grew up, one of my favorite memories, I tell you all the time, which is really one of the reasons why I'm a vlogger, like right now at the age of 32 years old or whatever, is the fact that I grew up watching old home videos that my mom used to film of her kids. So like, I have a lot of my childhood on camera. And for a long time, my mom didn't even have like a way to share those videos with us. So she had to go through like a super complicated process of getting her um, little like discs and stuff um, put in a format where we could watch them on the TV. So maybe you're in the same boat, you've never done that before. Um, maybe Legacy Box is something that can help you with that. So again, I do have a code that will save you 55% off of your Legacy Box. I'm gonna leave it here with my code on the screen, everything that you need to get the discount. I feel like it's totally worth it. If if you're worried about how long Legacy Box has been around or whatever, first of all, they have been around for a long time. It's not just like some random company that just opened up. They've been around for over a decade. And the people that are digitizing your items are here in the United States. They have a team of over 200 technicians here in the US. So your box of memories is not going anywhere outside of the US which um, just gives you some peace of mind that you know where your stuff is. And then the best part is just, you know, you get your box back and then now you have something that you can take to your next family gathering, plug it in and then spend time just reliving these memories. Memories for me is a huge thing, hence why I'm documenting my life on the internet. There's something so precious about being able to relive some of those, your favorite just memories from your life. Like it's just such a good feeling. So love Legacy Box, feel like it's a great company, um, a great product, whether for yourself or for a gift for one of your loved ones something that can help you with spring cleaning, decluttering, um, I think it's great. So thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. And now I've got a lot of things to share with you guys. All right, so the kids are starting today having their breakfast. Jackson got a haircut. Let me see your hair, buddy. <laughs> Jackson got a haircut this weekend. I like it. Okay, you don't like it? You look really cute. But they're eating, what are you guys eating for breakfast? Mini waffles. Mini waffles? They just got these little, um, they're like the Kodiak cake ones, but the mini ones. We got them at Publix yesterday, but they're these. So do these, I imagine they have some protein. Yeah, they're protein packs, so whatever. Just something a little different, and that's what they're having. I need to make myself breakfast. Um, I'm, in terms of baby news, right? So I am 21 weeks pregnant, so. Uh, like I tell you all the time, feeling very large. But this past week, I had my anatomy scan for the baby. And I'm gonna be filming, I'm, it's, I'm pretty sure it's already up already, but I'm gonna be filming um, my anatomy scan update video, 20 week um, update. But long story short, thank the Lord, everything looks good with the baby. So we, the anatomy scan went great. Um, I met with the doctor, went over the results, and everything looks good. So now I just have to transfer my care from, and Joe's working from home today, um, I have to transfer my care from my current um, doctors to the old OB that I used to see when I was down in Miami. Like the, are you throwing ice? <laughs> um, the old, like the OB that delivered my two other kids, hopefully is gonna be my provider now. So I just have to have my records transferred. That's something I have to work on today. There's like an online form that I have to complete. Are you done with your breakfast or you're still making breakfast? Sorry, we've been anxiously awaiting um, a message from our realtor to kind of let us know how the weekend went because we had a bunch of showings but we didn't get any feedback. She say anything? We well, have an offer. We have an offer? Mm -hmm. Really? I do have an offer to present to you today. Would you be available around noon for a phone call? Oh, wow, that's exciting. I mean, we had a bunch of showings Friday, Saturday. 
We had 20 showings. 20 showings. So, I mean, I don't know. I wasn't expecting an offer, but we had a lot of showings. So, I mean, if we have an offer, if it's good, that would be great. If not, I guess she'll have to maybe show it again, keep showing it. Maybe that's why we don't have any showings today. Maybe she like capped it or like stopped showing for a minute. Yeah, I don't know. The point is like our realtor was on vacation like this past weekend. So we didn't hear from her. So we've been waiting to hear from her. So around noon, we'll find out what happened. So point is, baby's doing good. House, I guess, is moving along. We'll find out at noon what that offer looks like. Um, but then we also, we did something fun this weekend and we took the kids to the National Zoo. So we had never been, I don't know if any of you guys have been, but it's in DC and it was great. Like we had the best time. We wanted to get out of the house like the whole day so that, you know, we could have showings. But I was so mad that like, I've never taken the kids like prior to now because the zoo is great. Um, it's free, first of all. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> because I was dying from how much we were walking. <laughs> For, my calves are on fire. Like I, I walked so much on Saturday. Like my poor body needs a break, but it's free. So admission is free. You do have to pay for parking. Um, and I told you guys on Instagram that you have to like go online and reserve parking if you want to park like right there on do site. About a year in you have to do it. Like probably do it the night before because I tried to do like the parking reservation online on Saturday and they were sold out already. So we ended up having to park in another parking garage. Like not super far, but it felt really far. So we had to walk from the parking garage to the zoo. Um, parking on site is 30 bucks. So like that's not terrible considering that in other zoos, like in the Miami Zoo, you have to pay for admission and it's almost like $30 a person for admission. Point is the zoo was fantastic. We saw so many animals. Um, it's very pretty. They have it very well kept. Um, and the kids had a blast. The kids love seeing all the animals. We got to see a lot of animals like up close and it was just a really nice experience. I highly recommend the National Zoo in DC if you're visiting or if you live kind of nearby and you've never thought of going there. We had the best time. So that's what our weekend looked like. So it was like jam packed stuff on Saturday, Sunday we went to church, but then we still had to like stay out of the house. So we went to lunch. So today is like my first day of like somewhat being normal where I can be home. We have to catch up on schoolwork because you know, there's been a couple of days that we haven't done schoolwork. So we're gonna do that. I was up all night last night, like up till very late going over, like doing some homeschool research and figuring out what I'm gonna do for Riley's curriculum when um, she starts kindergarten officially. So I'm gonna be buying a couple things and then sharing that with you guys soon. Soon I actually wanna do like a homeschool update video, just showing you like how far we've gotten through her current curriculum and like what we've been liking and what we haven't. So stay tuned for that if you're into like the homeschool content. Jackson, what you doing bud? What, you want me to warm you up? Are you, are you cold? Are you cold? Yeah. Okay, I can warm you up. How are your waffles? I did they're, they're good? But, but my toe. You're cold? Yeah. This poor buddy, he has to walk around with no pants because we're still in the potty training, you know, stage situation. And um, when I put pants on him, it's hard for him to like pull his pants down and his pull up. So when we're home, I just leave him in his pull up or in his underwear. So it's easier for him to do that. But then he's like, oh, he's walking around saying that he's cold. Um, the other thing, sorry, like this whole video will be like just updates. On Friday, what is that noise? Are you are you stomping your feet, Riley? Is that her? Or is that you? Who's that? Who's, okay. So the other thing is that Friday, we are heading to Miami. So we are going on a house hunting trip on Friday, which means that this week I have to just pack and have everything ready. We are flying there. So it's been a really long time since we've flown with the kids. And this time around, it'll be a little different because I think last time we flew, we didn't buy him a ticket, did we? I think he sat on me like he was a lap child. This time we bought Riley and Jackson their own tickets. So they'll have their own seats. But we're gonna go to Miami for the week to just start house hunting and looking around, seeing what's available, seeing what's on the market. Our realtor down there is gonna show us a few houses. Not sure, you know, what'll be available or if we'll be able to place, like to make an offer on a house. Kind of depends. Yeah, we'll bring the stroller. Kind of depends on what's happening with the activity on our house. But we're gonna go take a look, look at areas and 
that's what we'll be doing next week. So lots and lots of stuff. It's, it's really a miracle that I've managed to stay somewhat sane through all of this. I guess I'm just used to the chaos, um, but my body is tired. So today we're just gonna take it easy. I don't have much to do around the house because I mean the house is looking good. I do still wanna go down to the basement throughout the next couple of weeks while we're still here to see if I can still like declutter more and more things. I have to go through old baby clothes of the kids um, to start separating like what I'm gonna have for the new baby. I still have things to do, but today in particular, we're just gonna chill, take it easy, and I'm gonna rest because like I said, my body hurts so much from going to the zoo. I hadn't done that much exercise in a very, very long time, which is very sad, but I need to just kind of rest today. You should probably trace them. Is a little later um we did lots of schoolwork today so i'm glad we got caught up on that so um i'm gonna try to do a little bit of laundry we also you guys we talked to our realtor i don't want to like get my hopes up crazy but i mean we got an offer on our house but i'm like scared to like talk too much about it because like you know those things can end up like falling through but she did tell us that we got an offer um so her recommendation was to accept it, so we did. So now it's just like praying that it works out, praying that, you know, her financing goes through. Like when you're selling your house, there's like all these things that, like you've got like these contingencies and stuff and you wanna make sure that it all goes smooth. A lot of it is out of your control. So we did our part, at least for the time being, our house will be off the market you know, with the idea that we're gonna be going through with this offer. So that means that at least right now, I don't have to be worrying about showings. Like if for some reason it falls through, then the house would go back on the market and we'd have more showings. But at least right now, it looks like we don't have to do that. So I don't wanna talk too much more about it, but we got good news from the realtor. So that makes my heart very happy. But did you guys see Jackson? Like taking part in our homeschool today. He doesn't normally do that. Most of the time when I'm doing homeschool with Riley, like he's off playing with his cars and you know, doing his own thing. But this time around he came to the table and said he wanted something to do. So I had that little workbook. It's only like $3.99. So I'll link that workbook. It's like a cut and paste workbook. And he was working on those skills. I was impressed by how he was able to hold the scissors. I didn't even think that he'd be able to like go and cut on the lines. So things like that I keep so that when he shows interest, I will, you know, have him do it, but I never do any kind of like forced workbook, you know, work with Jackson because he's still three and like, you know, I'm not gonna force him to like be holding a pencil and like work through workbooks. We did a little bit of that and then Riley did her stuff. We learned about snakes today. We did a little bit of our science curriculum that we actually haven't done in a while. Before we go downstairs and I do laundry, I've got like tons of laundry to do. I did wanna show you, I got some shoes for the kids from Old Navy. And so I'm gonna link all of these down below. I got them because they were having a super sale and the kids have outgrown their shoes. So I'll have them all linked down below, the ones that I got, really good prices. Even if they're just like 35% off or whatever they normally have, 40% off, really good prices. So these we had last year for Riley. They're the cutest 
just like she wears them for church mostly but we like these so i got her those and she's in a size nine her foot is tiny okay like jackson's in a size eight she's in a size nine so i got her these sandals too these little brown sandals i think they had those in pink as well and then i got her these sneakers with the velcro strap and they have a flower and then where did her jellies go i got her these cute little water jellies i'll have to like put a picture of it like here because like I, I don't know where she put them she takes things you know what i bet it's in this is my child they were playing like moving to a new house this morning before they came to wake me up so she came into my room literally with this thing with this packed i bet those shoes are in here how how do i know my child i know my child so i got her these jellies so cute so this is the rest of her outfit for going on an airplane she picked out a dress and her mini mouse watch and i believe there's also um jewelry in here like her bracelets that is so funny so look she is packed and ready to go to miami but yeah i got her those and then for jackson i got him the cutest shoes you guys this kid's foot is growing like the rest of his body is still teeny tiny but his foot is growing so i got him these in a size eight they're adorable i tried them all on him too and they fit him so they're like you know kind of like boat shoes um but i got him those and then these are his actual boat shoes that i got him we had them last year like look this was the last time that we had bought them look how smaller they are like they were worn so much but this is a size probably seven i want to say but we love them so much and got so much use out of them that we bought him again so those are his new ones and then i got him these sandals again which he's had before and they have them i believe in a couple different colors too but these go with everything especially now in the spring and summer the back strap is velcro these will adjust though but this is like velcro and then the other pair that i got him were these sandals and these are super cute on him and these velcro all three straps so you can tighten them up but yeah, I figured I would share because Old Navy definitely has some really cute shoes. And they're not expensive because I refuse to pay a fortune for kids' shoes, especially like that. Like they grow out of them and then they mess them up because they mess up everything. <laughs> so not about the expensive shoe life. So I usually will look at either Target for them or Old Navy. But this time around, I saw really good prices at Old Navy. So that is what I got. So let's do some laundry. I have to try to get some work done today while the kids do quiet time. So I'm hoping that they will cooperate with quiet time. Jackson's been doing the, that those like quiet time naps where I put him to like watch TV and he falls asleep I'm gonna probably try that again today it's been a couple days like during the weekends I don't really force naps especially if we're out and about because he'll just fall asleep in the car so we'll see if we can get them to nap well Jackson to nap right he will just be on her iPad decorating her houses that's what she says she likes to do on that Toka world app I am so excited I'm so excited that it looks like things are progressing and then joe is talking to our realtor down in miami because she keeps showing us like listings and then she's scheduling for when we're down there next week she's scheduling showing so that we can go and see some houses and hopefully we'll like maybe some of those or just like have some options that like when we're officially ready to put an offer we can say, oh, we saw that house and we liked it. But if you guys are also like in the process of buying a house, like, why are there like Minnie Mouse ears in the hamper? I will never, I will never understand. These are my children. But if you guys are also like in the process of buying or selling, I feel you, it's hard. It's like not a fun, super fun thing to do. Right now, everything being as expensive as it is and it's just, it's a lot. So I feel very blessed that for the most part, our move is very simple. Like there's all these moving parts, but the like physical labor part of it is very easy because the next thing that'll happen, we'll get back from our house hunting trip and we have a company that's gonna come and pack up all of our stuff. We also just booked where we're gonna stay when we leave here, like our temporary housing. So from here, we're going to a temporary location. It was like through an Airbnb. So we're gonna be staying at a house there for a month until we're ready to move into our new house so it's going to be an adventure so i'm hoping you guys are here for it i'm hoping you guys are excited just to deal with even more craziness for a little while just because i'm moving does not mean that there's going to be a lack of craziness and i want to take you guys along by the way i've had a lot of you guys say like oh please show us you know some of the houses that you look at i'll have to figure out how i do that um i don't know how like i feel about that you know showing all of the houses or, or what i'm gonna do i'll show you a bit of it though definitely take you with us um, when we go down there looking biggest things that we're trying to focus on is like 
we know the area we want like closest to my parents house we don't want to be super far from my parents ideally we'd be as close as possible to my parents and then we also want to find a good church that's super important to us that we find a good parish down there we have a few options because of the fact that i grew up down there and like i know i've heard good things about certain parishes but joe and i are looking to find a church that we can be really involved in and we don't want to just go on Sundays and just have that be the only time we go to church. We'd like to get involved in the ministries and spend some time at church. And we're feeling called to do that. We'll have the ability to do that given that, you know, if we want to do like a, a, I don't know, like a married couples ministry at the church at night, like usually a lot of those um, groups meet at night, then I can like leave the kids with my parents. Whereas we were never able to do that while we were here because we didn't have anyone to leave the kids with. So those are the kinds of things that we're looking forward to being able to do. So that's something that we're definitely focusing on in our house hunting, just like the proximity to some of these different churches and just praying throughout the whole process, just praying the Lord puts us where he wants us. Like find us a place where we can have a good church community. Where we can meet people that, you know, have similar views to us and we're really craving that community so like yes obviously we have my parents and my family like we have that and I have friends that are down there that I'm so excited to be able to spend time with but we're also looking for that like you know follower Christ follower you know community down there where we can meet with people that share those same views and just do life with them so definitely keep us in your prayers they are super appreciated they've been appreciated all of this time thank you for them and just thanks for all of the you know all of the encouragement that you guys have sent lately and with everything happening you guys are the best and that's why like i want to come on here and i want to tell you all of the things because like some of you guys are invested in this too which makes me super happy all right so today was a little bit of a fail jackson was laying down in my bed but he did not go to sleep. He said just now that he wants to... What do you want to go do, Jackson? Mm. You want to go play with your toys? No. See, already there's a mess being created in my house. These are his little tiny cars. And I made Joe take the bin. And you know, I'm sure you guys have seen like the bin of his tiny cars. That usually has like 5,000 of them. I made him just pick out like 20 or so of them. That we can keep in the basket and the rest are in the basement. Because otherwise I have 52,000 tiny cars all over my house. Are those your favorite, Jackson? Yeah, but I missed my 10 more times. You missed the rest of them? Yeah. Yeah. I Joe sat down with him and was like, all right, pick out 20 of them. And these were the ones that he selected. Hey, we're taking them downstairs, though. We're not making a mess in Mama's room, okay? So let's go play with Riley downstairs. Okay? This is a road. I know that you think this is a road, but we're going downstairs, okay? Nope. Yep. But the Mama do not want to go downstairs. Well, we have to. Nope. Yup. Nope. Come on. If not, I'm going to take all your tiny cars and put them in the garbage. No, but there was like, there was like, there was you do down there. Well, I'm going by. I guess you can stay by, by yourself. See you later. Taking all the cars. You're going to be bored. Do you want to be bored up here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's go. That's what I thought. What are you playing? Disney Dream Life. Oh. The me? Disney game that I told you not to buy really you have to play this with her she can't know, do this by herself I, I told her moderation we're only gonna do this forever uh the fairy godmother's magical phrase wise choice well you there you go daddy daughter, daughter bonding daughter. time over there that is all him i am not about like the video games that's not my thing but uh if he wants to spend time with his daughter and walk her through every single prompt and read her all of the instructions then i guess he can do that but i was going to tell you guys too um, the other day, one of the things that we did to kill time on Friday, um, which was, I told you guys that it was a hard day because I had to be out of the house the whole entire day with kids. Like, no joke, we woke up. I didn't even let them have breakfast. <laughs> I didn't even let them have breakfast in the house. And I was like, if you have breakfast, you're gonna destroy the house. And then I'll have so much to clean up before the showing. So we went and we ate breakfast at Panera Bread. Then we went to the library. Li the library was luckily doing like a little library story time. Then they did like play time at the library with their friends. Then what did we do after that? Then we went to the park. <laughs> then we went to go have lunch. I took them to like a pizza place to have lunch and gelato. And then after that, it was still like nowhere near time to come back home. So I was like, what the heck do I do with these children? So we drove to Target. We were in the Target parking lot for like an hour. 
And I was like FaceTiming my mom. I gave the kids their iPads. So we like literally had run out of things to do. I am a one outing a day kind of person. So like to be out of the house the entire day going from place to place was a lot, you know, like strapping the two kids into the car, you know, multiple times, taking them out. Like it was, it was a lot. So we sat at the Target parking lot for a little bit. Then finally we were like, okay, we'll just go and walk around Target for a little bit since I had had some time to rest in the car. So we go to Target and this was the first time that we bought anything for the new baby. So it was really sweet because the kids helped me pick out something for the new baby. So they helped me pick out these jammies that were like gender neutral because again, we're not gonna find out um, if it's a boy or a girl, but look at how cute these prints were. And these I probably should have gotten in a newborn size. I ended up getting them in the zero to three months, but regardless, they will be used. And they're just sweet. They're um, the Cloud Island brand. I'm gonna have a little baby like this. It was like the first time that I buy clothes for this little munchkin. It made me all emotional, but it was cute to watch them pick out stuff for the baby. So we picked out these and then also this little outfit. This little outfit I got in a newborn size, which is adorable. <laughs> The fact that they're gonna be this little is just crazy to me. But then afterwards I realized like, or I was thinking about like, I don't know, like is the baby gonna need like a long sleeve outfit like this in Miami in like August? Like, I don't know. Like I forgot that now I have to think about a summer baby in like hot weather because I was used to December babies. And then being up here, everything was like always cold. So, I mean, I guess, cause like even still, you never want like your newborn to be like, super cold but I forgot that now that plays a role like even some of the stuff that I have from like Jackson I'm sure a lot of it is was made for him being up here in Virginia where it was cold so maybe some of that stuff isn't really going to be relevant anymore for this child that's going to be a Miami baby so those are all the things that I have to think about now but it was also really cute because leave it to the kids like leave it to Riley and Jackson like we picked out the PJs and then they were like and how about a stuffy? The baby needs a stuffy. And how about we get this for the baby? And the baby needs bath toys. So we're like going through the Target, like the baby aisles and stuff. And they would have put everything in the cart for the baby. So yeah, that was like their first time being like good big brothers, big sisters, and you know, picking out stuff for the baby. So I'm sure that they will do plenty of shopping and helping me in the future. But I, it was just like a really sweet moment. Like just us like walking through Target and like looking at baby stuff. I haven't really bought anything just because like I, like I told Joe, like the other, we were driving back home from the zoo and he's like, oh, I kind of feel like we haven't done anything for this baby. And I was like, yes, it's very different this time around. Plus the fact that um, like there are a few things that I want to get for the baby, but I'm not going to buy them until we're in Miami because it doesn't make sense to have it shipped here. Then it's like one more thing that I have to take to Miami with us. So I'm just going to wait till we get down there. Um, should be like around mid April. And then, you know, even if I have it delivered to our temporary quarters, I'll have it with us and then we'll have it when the baby is born. So yeah, just really fun. Just all of the things <laughs> that have me excited but stressed. So anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here, you guys, just because it's almost four o'clock and I was able to get some of my work done during their not so quiet, quiet time, but I need to still catch up on some more work and I'm just gonna call it quits on this vlog. That way I can just relax the rest of the day. But thank you guys so much for being here and for just, you know, being able to partake in like all of these updates that are happening. I'm glad I got to tell you guys, like, I don't know, the first news that I got about the house and stuff. And um, yeah, thank you for being here. Again, thank you to Legacy Box for sponsoring. If you wanna check them out, I'll have my discount code in the description box. You get 55% off. If you wanna check it out, I really think it's a great product. It's a great gift um, to yourself or to somebody else. I really think it's super cool. So that is all my friends. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.